the bellies, there's a bit of information that not everybody can usually get. Mm -hmm. You get a very tall Russian man and a ninja with a sword in places like that, and might make it a little bit easier to give someone to talk to us with the uh, right persuasion. Okay. It's a rough idea, but something along those lines, I think, might help us out a little bit. It could. Who's not, who's not afraid of swords? It, I mean, and it, big, tall, muscly Russian people. It could, could They're very well. But I want you, you to consider what I said earlier, and this is for everyone. Uh, this, the possibility war has not really touched this place yet in any way that makes it seem, uh, you know, relevant to life as they know it. And then you have, uh, let's see, let's, let's kind of start at the top. You have a guy dressed in Victorian garb with a long coat uh, and a brown vest with a gray tie, uh, which in and of itself is really not that far out of shape. But in this town where ancient meets uh, modern, it, it, it is, it's noteworthy. You have a very skinny, very tall, uh, what is that, red hair, Chris? Uh, yeah, let's just say red. Okay. Um, who has some tattoos and who has some tools and, and stuff like that kind of and walking into nifty, town. And a very nifty scar. And and a very nifty scar on the chin, right? Right. Okay. Uh, then you've got uh, Darius. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever gotten a description. Is the description just like your picture? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so again, you're talking about an older style. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to drag it out. I don't remember where I put it. Um, you know, it it, like the, to me, it sounds like to me we need a shopping trip. Well, I I think the point that I'm trying to make is yeah, you could you you could do a shopping trip, but I think the point that I'm trying to make is that you are as a group oddities in an area that doesn't know what the possibility war is. Well, no one said we had to mention anything of the sort. Mm -hmm. We're just interested in trying to get some information mm -hmm. for our own little legal operation, so to say. Okay. Well, a, another small group of people, um, a young man, young woman, and two children, who are obviously theirs, walk up to, to Jack and ask the same initial question that you asked, um, which was, uh, do you have gear for rent? And he just inanely points at, <laughs> at, at the tent. Here are your signs. Um, so, you know, and he, he turns from you guys to them because apparently you're all trying to make a plan. So... <laughs> You've got the shopping trip thing that you're looking at. Uh, you've got the possibility of just renting or buying outright equipment that you need. Um, you, I can tell you right now, you have not asked Jack all of the questions that you possibly could to help you out. Um, and there are a lot of places in Chonburi... Uh, you might be able to go if, especially if you remember the prologue uh, stories that I read not too long ago. Well, that's a bit of metagame knowledge there. Well, no, no, no. Yes and no. Um, you can see that there are. It's it's not only about. Uh, CD or really nice bars. It's not about all businesses. It's not about all sh all fishing or shopping or anything like that. You see that you saw coming into town. There were actually some some uh, landmarks. Okay, some like on the opposite side of town. You saw what you thought was maybe a, an older stone structure. Okay, I didn't describe this to you guys. I was waiting for the right time. Um, apparently, there is no such thing. So, um, anyway, you've got various things that you can do in the town. You can ask me about things that might be there so that you can go and explore them. 
I have a shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we need uh, we need a clue, that's for sure. So, anybody have a uh, uh, no. idea card? Not the card, but I just had an idea myself. Okay, yeah. talk to us. We know that we're here for the possibility chalice, mm -hmm. and you know the King Arthur myth is not in something I would know. It's not something Darius would know. But according to from those backstories that you were telling us, um, one crusader thought it was the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's any kind of iconography throughout the town that's going to lead us to, you know, and, and, and anything. Anything in the town that looks like it's chalice shaped, you know. Okay. Any, 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 you know, is it, is it, is it a popular local myth? Let me put it that way. Okay. Um, are well now. Wait a minute. Does that mean that you're going to try and talk to people as well? Or visit a local church or some of the local ruins? I mean, there's got to be some ancient museums and palaces and stuff like that around. It is, but after all, Asia. There is a religion yeah. for every person that lives in Asia. Okay. So that that is definitely something to consider. Yeah, and uh Kitsumi, uh our Kitsumi our person who is also sneaky, although she's a honorably sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> what would she recommend? Uh how would she recommend we approach this Derek place, the the oil rig, if at all? Justin, are you there? Yeah, I okay. was just thinking. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Is she... the oil rig occupied? You can't tell. It's about three miles away from shore. Even with my uh, cyber gear. Well, let's take a look and at your cyber gear. My, uh, and or my uh, um, uh, face screen. Gosh darn it, I'm having trouble remembering this. Um, let's see, you've got a Hexer Mark II, which helps you from casting spells. You've got a Bell Bellevue 2020 Cyber Eye, which is good for evidence analysis, find and tracking. Uh, you've got a cyber ham retina mimic, which isn't going to help you in this case, as the hex or Mark II won't, or Mark I won't either. Uh, and then a Datos toxin detector Mark I. The Bellevue 2020 Cyber Eye would probably lower your difficulty number to detect anything by two, but you're still looking at three miles. Okay, the the cyber eye doesn't like zoom in. Okay, combine that with the augmented reality HUD. Augmented reality HUD, where's that at? Ah, that there is it is. Okay, there it is. Let's see. A projection into one or both eyes analyzes and labels combat threats and anything the user stares at. Find and dodge become favored skills as long as the HUD's sensors can detect the opponent. Anything the user stares at. No, not really. Not really. I. It's like the way armor works in this game. You can't stack armor in this game unless you've got like magical armor and and then regular armor something like that or or under skin armor okay so if you had those three types of armor you might be able to to compile them all but the reason in torg you can't overlap or stack armor uh is, is because your highest armor value is used if if whatever it is that has highest armor or has a, a good good uh, punch against, uh, you know, the higher armor value, it's going to be stopped by the second higher armor value um, after it goes through. So that's what their thing is. The same thing with your Bellevue 2020 Cyber Eye and your augmented reality uh, heads-up display, uh, you're going to be able to use one or the other. So your only bonus that you're really going to get uh, is going with those two pieces of equipment 
is a, a bonus of two. Okay, so that's that's just one level of of uh, of bonus. But if you would like, you can try and make a find test. Um, uh, it's probably going to be at hard, which with the bonus would take it down to challenging. So the target number is going to be 12. Uh, but since they're favored, if you don't like your first roll, you can always roll uh, again and, and take the best of the two. So you said target number 12? Uh, yeah, hear that target number 12, and that includes the bonus. Okay. Because it's three miles out. Okay, let's take a look here. Standard success. You see... You see mechanical things moving around, um, like like robotic arms, but they don't seem to be stuck in any particular place if you look at them for a few minutes. They're independent of the rig or a part of the rig? Uh, you can't tell from where you're at. You just know that you see probably about five of these things. Um, but they don't they don't move like people. You gonna tell anybody? <laughs> of course, I will share the information. Okay. All right. All of you hear the same thing that I just told him. Um. So let's see. Now, what was what was the overall plan again? Well, I think we're in the the info gathering stage i don't know if we actually have a plan do we yeah right now our options are do we just to try and uh you know charter a boat out there like either through cd means legal means or you know just you know buying a, a whole boat is kind of our op three kind of ideas we have right now so obtain a boat, obtain some scuba gear. And I would Are want... there any local stories to be gathered about the rig? Or the area. Ooh. So, are, are you going to go out in your samurai ninja suit, whatever that is, and 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 try and talk to people like that? Or are you are you going to reveal yourself to your to your storm night friends? I am going to go out as a common citizen. Best way to blend in and be invisible is to be a part of the background. Okay, but does anybody from the storm night group get to see you change? Not necessarily. <laughs> okay, so here's what's happened. While Chris Peaches, Darius, and Toma have been talking about what to do next. Katsumi disappears. And after you've been talking for about five minutes, you try and look around to get Katsumi's take on things, which of course she yeah. doesn't speak a whole lot anyway, and you find out that she is not with you. Huh. And that even Jack did not see where she went. <laughs> oh, bling. And this is his beach. <laughs> Yeah, he would know. Uh. Okay, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try and run through this again. Peaches, you are the notional nominal group leader. What do you want to do? Well, um, I don't want to make a move without uh, our whole party or, uh, being aware. So she's good at. Uh, surveillance in fact that's where we uh, first encountered her was her keeping guard or an eye on the beach for 
more storm knights to mm -hmm. to consolidate the party. So I think I would assume that she's acting on a hunch or a surveillance of some kind. At least I hope so. Okay. Because one thing we really need is more info before we really just go um, all Toma on the oil rig. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that isn't a good plan. <laughs> but uh, we might be able to refine it some. Uh, so why don't we go back to the hotel ourselves? Um, actually, I kind of want to arrange with Jack some scuba lessons for everybody else. He says, great. When would you like to? Could we take an hour now for some basic instruction? I... Just here on the beach? Well, actually, it'll be on the beach, and, and we'll get you into the water a little bit. Do you have suits? Uh, that's why I'm saying we should probably go outfit ourselves at the hotel and we'll <laughs> come back for some instruction. Uh, he says, okay, go to the hotel, get what you need, and, and come back, and we'll get an hour's worth of instruction or so. Um, but remember, 2 50 an hour per person. But that just means you provide the equipment, right? Correct. I, I rent the equipment to you. It is all clean. I use alcohol swabs to make sure that the breathing apparatus is cleaned out, that the tubes are cleaned. Um, uh, if you, if we just uh, do some surface diving, um, that sort of thing. Gotcha. You guys up for this? Yeah. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we will go uh, look like go tourists and try to blend with the natives and then head back out to the beach. Okay. Do tourist things while we wait for Toma or for uh, Katsumi. Okay. Katsumi. Yes, you, sir. You see, um, you see your group as, as you're kind of getting prepared for what you're doing, um, uh, for what you're getting ready to do. You see your group headed back to the hotel. Okay. Okay. I'm uh, making a mental note of that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to work with Katsumi uh, for the next little bit while you guys are going to the hotel, getting changed, buying swimsuits, uh, whatever it is you need, uh, and, and getting ready to do scuba lessons. And we take a scuba lesson back on the beach. Yep. Hopefully uh, uh, Katsumi can show back up. We well, that's why I'm trying. I'm I'm going to work with Katsumi with with gotcha. Justin here, and uh, and and we'll figure things out. So you guys hang out where you're at, um, uh, Justin. I'm going to drag you down to the sidebar, sir. Okay, guys. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So. You start kind of tooling around, and uh, you're looking for information from the locals, right? Yeah. Okay, let me... Well, the approach is this. It's mostly looking for stories through a seed conversation or a seed out there. See what people bite on, what they don't bite on. Trying to be as passive as I can in the information gathering. Um, okay. So that I reduce our exposure and just not and hopefully not getting any notice from anybody else who might be doing the same thing or who might be a part of whatever guard force this old derrick or oil rig may have that's within the local community okay uh let's see here let me write a couple of things down Because I'm going to have you roll, uh, unless you have a very, very specific question to ask, and I don't expect you to have one up front. Um, uh, I wouldn't expect that at all um, from anybody, because I have information you don't. Uh, let me write these down and determine how far you can go in gathering information uh, let's see. Oh, come on, I can write, really. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. See, I wrote this up. I should have made it bullet points. <laughs> okay, let me do this. Okay, so I'm probably going to have you make two initial rolls, one at a time, and get you some information. Um, Come on. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Why am I doing that? That's perfect. Okay. And separate these three. Come on. It's nine o'clock. Um, okay, that works. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, do you find it easier to approach women first or men first? <clears throat> Because as with most Asian societies, there's kind of a disparity. What kind of atmosphere is it? Um, say is it? some women who are, let's see, some women who are maybe sitting outside of a restaurant. Um, uh, they're not really sitting at a table so much as sitting on windowsills, uh, one on the ground. Um, there's another group of women someplace else in the city, and they are, uh, it looks like workers of some kind at one of the factories. Um, etc. Um, as for the men... Um, there is, let's see, there's a park where they're playing some games, uh, one group, uh, like chess or, or, uh, some cards or something like that. It's not really very windy out, uh, but they have a way to secure their cards anyway. Um, and then, uh, say another group of men are actually, uh, closer to the north eastern side of town uh, and they're they're more or less just BSing with each other on a wall um, they're not terribly old either is there an area of town that's close to where this thing is at that are bars um, gambling houses sure Sure. Um, the, there's no such thing as zoning in this uh, in this area, so they're kind of everywhere. That's where she's primarily going to target are those places. Okay. Because some tend to be relaxed due to alcohol, mm -hmm. that sort of thing, and or drugs. Okay, but that also means that the answers you get could be considered suspect. True, but that's part of the reason why I'm drifting from place to place. If I learn something that seems intriguing, I'll throw it out there as a seed in a conversation to see who bites, who talks about it, to okay. confirm whether a story is false or not. 
okay. or more likely to be true. Intelligence gathering is building, uh, I guess the good way to put it is, is, oh, you find a rumor. Well, is there, you work to confirm the rumor or as closely as you can confirm the rumor. Okay. Kind of thing. Okay. If they learn something new or a new rumor, then perhaps the next time she stops somewhere, she uses a second rumor and, and tries to build a consensus of information from that. Okay. All right. So, uh, but you, for now, you're going into a bar kind of to talk to the the local um, uh, natives. Yep. Okay. Give me a persuasion test, please. Just a standard persuasion test. Well, I'm not even skilled in persuasion. Um, well, uh, I can't think of anything else that would be uh, necessary. What was that, streetwise? Yes, sir. Uh, you can try that out. Sure. Why not? What target number? Standard. Ten. Okay. And I'll interpret from there. All right. Okay. Uh, so you get a standard success. Um, you wander into a place and kind of listen for a little while. And you hear... Uh, Men at the bar, uh, pretty close to one another, they look like roughnecks. Um, and uh, a roughneck is, is kind of a universal thing. It doesn't matter what uh, race or country you're from. Um, uh, if you're a roughneck, you're, you're a tough SOB in general. Um, so these, uh, you know, these folks are kind of, of talking about uh, the platform here and there. Um, they're watching news, they're drinking, they're smoking. Uh, you can tell that there is some marijuana uh, uh, in the place, but you can't really smell anything truly illicit. Um, but every so often you'll hear a shut up from the crowd, uh, yelled at them at the bar, uh, or you might hear you know, some kind of a complaint about the Japanese and how they came in uh, and threw around all kinds of money. Um, just to, uh, you know, just to, to make people feel at ease and then they disappeared, which really torqued people off. Anything specific about the Derek Carrig and his initial, just kind of just listening to stories. Uh, initially, uh, I, I presume that, like you said, you're just kind of listening to stories, trying to pluck out a um, a tidbit that you might be mm -hmm. able to use. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's about the best initial tidbit I think you're gonna gonna really hear, unless you decide to stay a, a much longer time. Well, I'll stay longer. I might even buy drinks if I can. Okay. Well. There are not there uh, there are not a whole lot of females actually in the place unless they are of non Asian descent and they generally get the evil eye every so often. No one has really spotted you yet. Okay. So what do you what do you want to uh, you you just want to listen longer? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, give me another uh, uh, streetwise. Okay, yeah, a lot of the guys uh, that are at the bar when they get told to shut up too many times um, start to drag their way out of the bar. Um, pretty soon there's only one person remaining at the bar. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'll drift my way out. Drift to another place then. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what class of place are you looking for? The place where roughnecks would hang out. Still, okay. So you still want to go with that angle. Um mm -hmm. Uh, it's funny. One of the guys that you saw at the bar, and and you can tell it was it is him from the back. 
um, uh, wanders into an, another bar, but this one has a neon sign that shows uh, a die, a pair of dice, a billiard cue, and um, uh, and a pool table with uh, balls rolling around. Somebody really put some time into this neon sign. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll drift in there. Okay. Go ahead and, and give me another persuasion test. I'm I, and if you want to throw anything at this, you just gotta let me know. You know. All right. Could I potentially make a fine test as I watch to see how much the house is cheating? Uh, it, that would be an evidence analysis test. Okay, I'll do that too. I don't mind trying that. Okay. So, go ahead. Oh, 25. Very nice. That is a good success. Um... Okay, it, it's pretty subtle, but um, any non-Asian dealers in the place seem to be tripping up some of their um, some some of the people who come and gamble at their tables. But they do everything in their power to keep it well on the down low, and. Uh, and they're really not making that much. It's more than they should make off of various bets and plays, but it's it's very very subtle. Something that is is basically unknowable uh, to to the Asian population. Okay, as I watch and wait, if there is a person male or female doesn't really matter but male more likely i will just as a means of engaging in conversation uh -huh. and as subtly as i can let that particular person know that uh, things are a bit out of sort as i'm still throwing out seeds of conversation to try to gauge information about the rig okay all right well uh go ahead and give me a persuade another persuasion test and uh, and let's see what you find out from others here. It might be a better crowd. All right, I'll well, try that. Oh, that was a twenty, and it rolled over. Um, you know, the crowd here, including the guy that came from the other bar, are really not concerned with the oil rig. Their conversation is about soccer, um, whether English or Indian are better, um, you know, uh, rugby, that sort of thing. Could I spend a possibility on it? Sure. Sure you can. You you didn't roll a one, so you're allowed to do that. Okay. Uh, that's still a standard success, but it's not a failure. Um you know, uh, pushing your luck. Um, let's see. What can I give you here? The, there is a, a an Asian bartender behind the bar. And the guy from the other bar kind of sidles up to it. To the, uh, to the, the uh, counter. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Just engage him in conversation. Oh, you're going to walk up and actually talk to him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Buy him a drink. Okay. How are you mm -hmm. going to approach this? Well, Let's kind of side of the line, signal the bartender and get a drink for me and for him. And to kind of ease the transition and gain a, just a tiny bit of uh, trust. Let him know which 
ones, which one of the dealers to avoid. As I still work to try to throw out conversation to get as much information on that rig as I can to try to build that using the which dealers to avoid to build trust so that he becomes more relaxed with me and hopefully gets a little more relaxed from the alcohol okay. as well. Using both of the kind of using them as a pincer maneuver. Does that make sense? I, I think so. I think so. Um, I want you to go ahead and roll your charisma. The, the stat? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's not my good stat. This is not what I usually do, but you know, one second. Well, that sucks. Yeah. That's my luck. He looks at you, and even though you can tell he's about uh, two sheets to the wind. He uh, he still looks at you and and says, "Oh, I gotta go home." And he gets up at this point, and he, like I said, he's two sheets to the wind. He's not three yet, but uh, so he can walk, but uh, he's he's not doing real great. And and he leaves, you know, he leaves uh, a few uh, pieces of script on the counter for uh, for the bartender. And uh, gets off of, stumbles off of his chair, and walks out. Let me ask a question: When seeds were thrown out there about the rig itself, what was his reaction? Did he become more guarded? About the same, indifferent. If more, I could, it was more indifferent. It's almost like when a person is angry for too long. And they then, just don't get after a while, yeah, after a while, it just kind of kind of evens out, and they're like, whatever. That in and of itself is information. Mm -hmm. So something out there is going on, and something that irritates people long enough to the point they don't care anymore. Okay. Which is something we didn't know before. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you one more move. Uh, tell me what you would like to do, and then I need to get back. I need to get us back to the rest of the group. It's nine seventeen. We got thirteen minutes. Oh no, I understand. Oh, uh, what else can I do here? Um, uh, this. I'll look over at the bartender. Look at him. Are all the uh, uh, roughnecks just as? Um, I guess uh, fed up and irritated as he is. Essentially, is the question or approach that he used with the bartender. He uh, he he smiles and uh, and 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 looks at you for a second. He says, "You need me to touch up that drink." Well, of course. Okay, so he touches up the the drink a little bit and uh, uh, he looks at the bar like he's expecting something uh, for about a second and then he looks up at you and he says well when the Japanese came through just like their history with us uh, they left behind some wreckage why do you need to know just curious everybody seems to have a story just looking for stories. That's true. Yeah. He he says, "Are you are you looking for a job?" You know, you gotta have you gotta have a job to make money. What's available? Well, uh, my uh, uh, my fellow bartender went uh, uh, went to Australia uh, a few uh, weeks ago without the intent of coming back and not to expand our business. And he's he's very, you can tell by the set of his jaw that he's very angry that his partner just abandoned him. And I'm, now I must admit, I'm not sure how long I'll be in town, but perhaps if you need an extra hand, I wouldn't mind lending it. You know, I could use a few hours of rest. I, I've been on my feet for three days straight. 
And she says, fair enough. I don't know, like I said, don't know how long I can be in town, but I will help out as I can. He says, that's that's great. That's enough for right now, and, and maybe I can get somebody hired in the next few days. I've got a couple of candidates uh, that I'm looking at. He, he doesn't use the word candidates. What? Oh, hell, he's probably smart enough. But uh, he, uh, he says, I've, I've got a couple of people I'm looking at to hire on here. Uh, but I could definitely use four hours worth of sleep. So uh, I'll take it for that long. Tell me right. how you do things, and I can follow instructions as well as the next person. Perhaps he, a little better. He says, uh, "Well, come on behind the bar." All right. And uh, he he spends the next probably ten minutes. He says most of our drinks are very simple. Uh, he says uh, our most comp our more complicated drinks are these ones right here. Uh, and generally, only the Guaylo uh, buy those. Uh, the 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 uh, uh, non-Asian people, he says. Um, she Guay just kind of funny with that. Yeah. With uh, that kind of knowing smile. <laughs> yeah. He 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 looks and and he's like, well, I I I didn't know if you were like a, a, an Asian American or if you were you know, uh, anything like that. But, uh, in, if, if you, if you even spoke your, your, what's supposed to be your native tongue. So forgive me. She, uh, looks, and, uh, she, she looks at him and, uh, um, speaks, uh, in Japanese to him as fluently as any Japanese can, uh -huh. um, that she is happy and pleased to have the job. And, um, uh, his, uh, as you begin to actually speak Japanese without cursing, um, he's like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Japanese is not welcome here unless it's a curse. <laughs> she smiles at him kind of almost in a flirtatious way. And uh, his, his eyes are literally starting to roll up into the back of his head. He is exhausted. After he points things out, he says, uh, in, do you, he, the bar is yours for right now. Um, how does uh, how does 10 bucks an hour sound? Done and done, he says. All right. Um, I, I'll set an alarm and I'll be back in, in four hours then. Now, that is actually going to help you out, but it's getting real late. So we okay. need we need to go back up to that other channel. Do you know how to move yourself, or do you want me to move you? Oh, you can go ahead and move me. Okay, I will do this while just as one last piece of thing. This is fairly simple. Uh -huh. She will send a message to the hotel um, uh, front desk, uh -huh. letting them know I will be distracted for a few hours. That's all. You're not going to tell them where. Nope. Okay. Because I don't want them to come looking for me and ruin what little cover I've managed to build for myself. <laughs> I can understand that. Okay, let's get up there before people start disappearing. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello there. I, I apologize uh, about the length, but uh, uh, Justin had some really awesome ideas. And uh, so we're we're back. No problem. Um, yeah. While you are at the hotel... Um, uh, uh, this would probably go to Ginger, um, but uh, there's a, a message uh, that uh, Ginger is called about, okay, uh, at the front desk. When you go to get the message, uh, you note that it is uh, from K. Would K okay. work? Okay. Yes. K. Well, I, I'm talking to Justin. Would would just K work? Justin. Justin. Okay, he must have wandered off to to the bathroom or something. Anyway, um, there's a message that uh, that says um, uh, she will she is safe, but she will be distracted for a while. There's no address. There's no phone number. Just the K at the bottom. So. How can we like help her out if she gets in trouble? I, you, 
I don't know, but listen, um, I'm going to we're 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 getting close on time, so I want to find out. Uh, in fact, I'm going to write it down here. Uh, I'm going to find out what each of you wants to do, um, so that we can actually. You know, I should just type it up. What am I doing? Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, Mike does not seem to work at at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. So why don't each of you kind of put down um, something that you want to accomplish this next week? All right. Okay, uh, he's going to switch and come back. Is it good? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Success. We got you five by five. Okay. All right. So you're saying that we're in the pipe? Yes, Absolutely. And smoke and crack. Just so long, and just so long as nobody nukes us from orbit, we'll be good. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, would each of you, or or well, yeah, Rios is not here to take notes. So, would one of you volunteer to to write notes out, and then each of you give an idea of what you would like to accomplish next week? Notes in what respect? Uh, in in the uh, in the chat here. I I won't erase them. So if you have notes to put in the chat, uh, that would be great about what you want to accomplish. I know Ginger and and the rest of you are supposed to go for an hour out to do um, training. So what would you want to do well. after the training? Actually, we have been discussing some ideas. Okay. Uh, Darius and I are going to try and find my connection that I have here in okay. Thailand. So Darius and, and Toma, it looks like I'm taking notes. Um, <laughs> find hey, you, connection. Hey, you started typing, so. Sean Burry. Yeah, but if, if I don't do it. Okay, so that's Darius and Toma. Everyone gets a scuba lesson. Darius and Toma find their contact. Well, I don't know about finding their contact. Maybe. Uh, actually, I already have a connection in mind, to be honest. Okay. So Don't, don't tell me it's like an ex-girlfriend, please. So, <laughs> uh, Peaches, what do you have in mind to do after the scuba lesson? Well, we'd like to find out... Um more about uh, what the oil seeker rig is. Okay. Delivering its stuff. I mean, uh, let's see. We'd like to. Okay. You want to find out more about oil seeker, but how? What methods are you going to employ? Yeah, we were hoping. Um, uh, let's see. The, the. Depending on the type of contact, uh, what what were you hoping to get out of the contact, Toma? Well, it's going to probably be one of a few things. Either they can give us some information on oh, what are those people that go to the the oil rig? What are they called again? Tenders. Tenders. The tenders. Yes. Either they can give us some information on who the tenders are, and we can uh, convince with big quotation marks to get them to smuggle us at least close, if not all the way to the oil rig, or they will be able to get us through supplies or get us some people that can actually get us over there and maybe a little bit of gear. Okay. Um, tenders, supplies, gear. Let me go ahead and kind of put some. Okay. Uh, Darius, is that also what you're thinking? It was um, the, the the initial thought on my end was that um, that Toma and I would go kind of surveil the tenders, kind of see what their what their schedule was, what their what they were doing, um, how they were going about it, so that we could, at the very least, possibly infiltrate, um, if not you know, maybe ingratiate somehow. You know, it was it, it was just, you know, we, we, we were going to see what they were up to and go from there. 
basically. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, okay, I think I've got what you're talking about. Uh, Peaches, you are extraordinarily vague. You want to find out more about Oil Seeker. Are you going with Darius and Toma, or are you going to try different methods through the town? Actually, um, I think we should split up. Let Toma and Darius uh, find the contact. Uh, I think we should, I think maybe Press Cross and I can maybe do the tourist thing and look into some local legends, visit some local churches, try to see if we can find okay. anything about the grail leading this away. Okay, Chris, um, are you are you up with that, that also? Uh, yes, but I did have a question. I was like, do we get the sense that it's you know going to take him through you know three days for us to get you know, what he would say the requirements for a deep dive like we've been asking. Because well, we he's being, you know, being like he's trying to charge by the hour. Yeah. Or is like, so he's like, is he taking it slow on purpose or is it a, you know, honestly need three days? Um, well, no, that was already cleared up earlier. He is definitely okay. after the money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like next week, if, you know, you know, Rios is back. I might have like a suggestion of her, like trying to offer how much of a pay bump to knock that down to just get it done in a whole day. Well, no, we don't last. need that. We're, well, I, I suspect, provided we figure out if everyone can swim, just the one hour training and getting, can, you know, used to the gear and what it's like then we buy our own gear and hopefully get reimbursed eventually but from Delphi. uh then we see if we it, it if it comes to that we'll buy the gear we'll get smuggled out we'll explore their rig um and see if we can't catch back up with the boat because we don't want the boat setting off any alarms okay so it, okay. it should just be trolling back and forth looking like it's fishing um and when it's closest to the derrick, that's when we we jump off and so, swim for it. And okay. When it's closest you're getting, again, that's when we get back in. You're right? getting too far afield here. Okay. Uh, yeah. We we yep, need some immediate things. Uh, immediately, mm -hmm. go go find your contact. Uh, well, no, I I out. I've got that. I'm I'm talking. Uh, okay, you said seeking local legends more about uh, Pan Pacifica. Uh, uh, or I should say more about braille. Japanese. Uh, oh, that's right. Um, you're, you're taking a lot on here. More about the Grail, mm -hmm. touristy things. Um, okay, so that's Peaches and Chris. Darius and Toma. I know what Katsumi is up to. Okay, and you want to, um, Let's see. Uh, talk Catherine into negotiating. Up, oh, oh. diving training and gear. Okay, that okay. So that's some good basics to start out with next week. Um, let's see if this list is full enough. Oh. All right, is there, from any of you, is there anything I seem to be missing here? It's good to me. Okay. Yep, that okay. looks about good. Okay, okay. Yep. Uh, uh, all this surveillance and looking at the rig is to see if they're doing all the digging for us. We shouldn't have to ever dive deep if they're doing all of that. Um, we either steal it from them on the rig or we steal it from them on the shore, wherever they put it. So that's okay. what we want to see what these tenders are going back and forth and what they're doing. Um, I, I suspect the... There, there might be some grail legends going on if that's... We're, we're seeking the chalice that the, uh, <laughs> the map did tell us about it. Okay. And uh, 
Okay. Lo so local history might have us give us some clues. It could. It very well could. Okay. So. Um. All right. So it is nine thirty-four. Uh, let's go ahead and and call it a night, and uh, and we'll pick back up next weekend. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, guys. Okay. And, uh, and uh, think on the issue, and if you come up with any good ideas, we can start with that next yeah. week. And and write it down. Make sure that you write it down. All right, my friends. Um, good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Um, and, <laughs> good night, John. Uh, that's the Dunya. Uh, uh, that's the I wish all of you a great week, and I'll see you next weekend. Definitely. Bye, right. everybody. Bye. <laughs> all right. All right. Good night, y'all. Huh? Oh, you're welcome, and thank you for being here. You're welcome. Bye.